Hello again. My name is Samson Ellsburn. I'm an attorney with Wolke Flurry in Sacramento, California, and welcome to our next video in the series of videos on labor and employment law news and updates. In this video, we're talking about the new federal overtime rule that takes effect on December 1st, 2016. Pursuant to that rule, the salary requirement will be increased to $47,476 for exempt employees. Now, under employment law, we have both exempt employees and non-exempt employees. Exempt employees are not subject to overtime. Non-exempt employees are subject to overtime. And so this rule will affect the determination of who is an exempt employee versus a non-exempt employee. Now the federal overtime rule does not change the duties test. It only changes the salary test. And as you may know, most employees have to meet both a duties test and a salary test in order to be considered exempt employees. So again, the new federal overtime rule going into effect on December 1st increases the salary requirement. It does not change the duties requirements. And so what this means is that employers are going to want to reevaluate their exempt employees because employees who are currently exempt under federal law may no longer be after the new regulation goes into effect if they are not earning a salary of at least $47,476. Now, even California employers need to pay note and attention to this new rule. And that's because generally California law is more favorable than federal law, but not in this instance. In this instance, the new federal overtime rule is actually more favorable to the employee than California law. And so what this means is that an employee may be exempt under state law and non-exempt under federal law if they are not earning at least that new minimum salary for employees. And again, that minimum salary is $47,476. So if you'd like to learn more about the new federal overtime rule, go ahead and click the link below and you can access the article to read more. Thank you for joining and we look forward to seeing you in future labor and employment law news and update videos.